Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw boxes in two-point perspective. You'll need a sheet of paper, and you could use a ruler or even a, a um, you know, a triangle with a 90-degree corner like this. Most of you probably won't have this. Some of you probably have a ruler. It might be six inches long. It might be eight inches long. Uh, it might be 12 inches long or even 18. Um, all that's great works great but I'm going to use a piece of junk mail. I find this easier and more flexible uh, than any of these rulers except for this one. This one's really the good one. Um, all right so and of course you'll need a pencil and you need an eraser. There's a lot of erasing in perspective drawing. So um, this is my piece of paper. The first thing I have to do is establish a horizon line. So I'm going to turn my paper this way just because it's a little bit easier. And I'm just going to randomly put a mark about halfway between these two corners. And uh, I'm going to line up uh, these edges so they're the same. And then just put a little mark right here on my junk mail. And then I'm going to line up the junk mail with the side of the paper there, make a mark right at the same place I marked the first one. And I'm going to do the same thing in the middle because my junk mail, if I use this as an edge to draw the line, it doesn't reach all the way across. Um, even if you have a 12 inch ruler, it would be long enough. But what if you have an 8 inch ruler? It's not big enough. So you need that mark in the middle. And then I can just uh, put the edge of the junk mail on both marks. It's got to be touching both marks. It's touching here and here. It, it, you can't let it, you know, touch here and then it touches here. You've got to have them touching at the same time. Here's an easy way to make sure that happens. If you put your pencil on one of the marks like this, and then you can push the junk mail or a ruler against your pencil and then you don't even have to look at this one anymore. You just keep the edge pushed against the pencil and you just rotate it until it touches the other mark. Always double check and make sure it's touching. Hold this down tight. You don't want this to slip or slide while you're drawing. Uh, if you hold it just here, it might move this way as you draw. If you just hold it here, uh, you know, you might accidentally push it over. So hold it tight, kind of in the middle. And also hold your pencil straight up and down. Don't hold your pencil like this because it can accidentally go under the paper. You want to just, and just kind of push it right against the edge, draw your line. Uh, so now I have to do that again to get the rest of the line. There you go. Now I've got a horizon line uh, and I'm going to put a dot at each end. These dots uh, represent the two vanishing points in two point perspective. Okay, so now I have it all set up and the first thing I'm going to do is draw a vertical line. It's going to be parallel to the side of the paper and it's going to be perpendicular or a 90 degree angle from the top of the paper. So I'm just going to use my junk mail and I'm going to line up. I want my line about there. I'm going to line up this edge of the junk mail with this side of the paper. Match them up exactly. And then I'm just going to draw a line. I don't want it to touch the top or the horizon line. Um, you know, just give my, I'm going to give myself a little space there and a little space there. All right, that's the first step in drawing a box in two point perspective. Now, what I do is take my uh, junk mail and connect the top of the line to this vanishing point and to that vanishing point. Don't draw your lines too hard or dark because you might have to erase some. Okay, now this is almost not long enough, so if you do have a ruler, that might be better in this case. Um, I'm 
there. I could have done it, but it was just, just a little bit too short. Now the next step is to connect the bottom of this line with both vanishing points. And now on this one, this line's a little shorter, so I have, I'm able to use my junk mail. There. Now that's the beginning of my box and two point perspective. Now I need, I don't want my box to look like it goes to infinity over here and here. I want it to be just a regular box. Um, so I need to establish the back corners. Um, so I'm going to, I want a line about right there and one about right there. And so I can just go right back with my junk mail, move it till it matches over where, about where I want the back edge, make sure the top of the, of the edge of the junk mail matches the top of the paper and hold your pencil vertical and draw the line just between here. You don't go past these on either side. Um, you could, instead of matching my um, junk mail up here, I can use the horizon line if I want. It might be easier to see or I can use the bottom of the paper. But there, there's a line and it just stops at that line and this line. So now it's looking more and more like a box. I'm just gonna take a moment and erase these extra lines. I don't need these lines anymore. And this is what I meant when I said there's a lot of erasing in perspective drawing. All right, now, I think it's obvious that this um, box looks like it's floating in the air. That's because I drew it above the horizon line. Now, um, if it is floating in the air and it is above the horizon line, I should be able to see the bottom. So that's the last step to do this, is to draw the bottom. Now, it's obvious my paper uh, junk mail is not long enough. Uh, for this purpose. So I'll go back to my ruler. Um, the paper, like the uh, thick paper or cardboard on the back of a sketchbook would work. Uh, anything around your house that's straight and um, you know it's pretty sturdy. You don't want like a thin sheet of paper to do this. It's not going to work. Um, anyway, uh, you can see my pencil is going to be on the vanishing point on the right. And then I'm going to the rulers on this point and this corner of the box. And I'm just going to draw a line. And then I'm going to, and so this corner goes to the opposite vanishing point. And now this corner is going to go to the opposite vanishing point over here. All right. So now where those two lines meet and cross, that's the far corner of your box and you don't need all these uh, extra lines anymore and there's a finished box in two-point perspective so once you finish this box I want you to do the same thing but I want you to do it below the horizon line uh, so again to start we just need uh, a vertical line. I want that line around here and I'm going to match up the edge of my junk mail with the horizon line. Draw a line just like that. There it is. Uh, think about what the next step would be. Step one, draw a vertical line where you want the front corner of your box. Step two, do you remember what it is? I'm going to connect the top of the line to both vanishing points and then I'm going to connect the bottom of the line to both vanishing points. If that's what you were thinking, then you were correct. All right, as long as I'm on this side of the paper, I'll just do both. And then now see, I moved the corner a little closer to the middle 
So this time my uh, junk mail is long enough, hopefully, for everything. Always make sure that your whatever you're using, a ruler or a piece of junk mail, touches both points that you need. Okay, now uh, again, um, I need a back corner, so I'll put it about here. Okay, there's the back corner of my two point my second two point perspective box. I'm going to end, end up about there. All right, there's the other corner. Erase these extra lines. And now, now I need the top of the box. If your box is above the horizon line, you're going to see the bottom. But if your box is below the horizon line, you're going to see the top instead. So now I need to make the top of this box. Think about what step I would have to take to make the top of the box. If you said connect this corner to the opposite vanishing point, and then this corner to the opposite vanishing point, you would be right. And there you go. And where those two lines cross, that makes the all the way in the back corner of your uh, two point perspective box. All right, so, so far we've got one box above the horizon line, and I can see its bottom. I've got another box below the horizon line, and I can see the top. So for the last one, I'm going to make a, a vertical line to start a box, and this time it's going to kind of straddle. I'm going to put it about here. You can see it's going to go right over the vanishing point, I mean uh, the horizon line. So I'll use, I'll match up my... Uh, junk mail with the top edge of the paper. I'll draw that line. There's my front corner. And you can see in two-point perspective, one corner of the box is always facing you. So if you're if you're trying to draw something and you're trying to figure out, should I use one-point perspective or two-point perspective? If the corner is the closest thing to you, you know you need two-point perspective. And we didn't cover one point perspective because um, I feel like all of you probably covered that last year or in a previous uh, year of art. So uh, anyway, okay, so back to this box, uh, top of the line to both vanishing points and then bottom of the uh, line to both vanishing points. And I'm, my junk mail is not going to be long enough for this side, so I'll be using my ruler for that. 